Welcome back, it's Crown Gamer, back with another video. Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we did literally just Nibbleheim and got freaking trapped at Mount Nibble. And we got Vincent at Shinner Manor. But still, the worst was getting trapped at Mount Nibble. But now we are at Rocket Town, so that's exciting. Here we go. Better ask the captain about this town. He's one of the, he's the one in charge of it. Captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been waiting his life away, wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see a man in a black cape? A man in a black cape? Nope, never seen him. A gun is a man's weapon. Nothing else will do. Okay, we'll have to get that in a minute. That's just a shotgun. Okay. One, two. Okay. We're gonna keep it. Okay. There we go. I think that's good enough here. Taking a little nap. Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. A drink will ease your heart. Okay, let's try going up. Nothing of interest down here. <laughs> mm, nope. All Grams does is gaze at the rocket all day long. It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Power source. There we go.
There is a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. I wonder if we can borrow it. Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira, and what are your names? I'm Cloud. Tifa, nice to meet you. Vincent, I am... never mind. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Okay, I guess we better see the captain then. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. Captain? I'm the captain! And now we get a brand new party member, Sid. I love Sid theme song so much. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me captain though. What do you want? Uh, tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the meaningless war, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days, it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra... Num uh, they, the, no, they chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. And finally we got to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shira, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so, Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans. After they told me how the future was space exploration and got my damn hopes up, damn them. Then it was all over once they found out Maka Energy was profitable. They didn't even as much look at space exploration. Money, Mula, De Niro. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day, it tilted a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. This thing's falling over, me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. My last hope is to talk to the president. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, Cloud. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. Damn, Shira, what are you blind? We got guests. Get them some tea, damn it. Uh, I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up, sit down in those chairs and drink your gosh damn tea. Ugh, damn, I'm pissed. Shira, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco and make sure to serve them some tea, alright? Poor Shira. Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. It's amazing that you can live with it. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired waiting around for your ass. I'm... I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that damn oxygen tank. Sure, being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check the oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain! Our dreams are finally coming true! We are so proud to be part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. Alright, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. 
Instrument panel all clear. Shinner number 26 ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinner number 26. Three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little ass? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, gosh damn it. Who the hell is still in there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shira! What are you doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You're a stupid little ass. It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be damn left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die. You know that, don't ya? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a successful. Oh, it will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die. Sid, we're starting the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute, Shira's still in there. What, what are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. Gosh damn it, Shira. You wanna make me a murderer? Captain, Shira. Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira, hurry up, you're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. What am I, what am I supposed to do? 15 seconds until ignition. Oh man, the moon out of space, my dream. Ignite engine. Shit. And that's how this Shinra number 26 got its famous tilt. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back, and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why... It's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shira, you still haven't served in tea? Uh, I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where's Rufus? Hey, hey, long time no see. So Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when the space program's gonna start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Damn. Good for nothing, fat ass. Don't say fat. Hey, hey, tea. Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and, oh yeah, don't forget the lard. Is President Rufus here to announce that he's going to restart the space program? Have you met before? Hey, hey, is the tea ready? With plenty of sugar and honey? Oh, yeah. Okay. What the? You got me all excited for nothing. Then what do you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed. But we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Damn it. First the airship, then the Bronco, and now the tiny Bronco? Shinra took outer space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my, you seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palm was going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building, when the president was killed. Oh. The sec security Time to battle Palmer.
<laughs> and there's the famous scene where Palmer gets hit by the truck. I can't stop. Forget it, get in. There we got it, Tiny Bronco. Shit! The tail's been hit! Emergency landing. This is gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in him. She won't fly anymore. Can't we use it as a boat? Frick, do whatever you want. Sid, what will you do now? I don't know, I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife Shira? Wife? Don't make me laugh, just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys gonna do? Where's going after a man named Sephiroth? We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell, sign me up. How about it, everyone? Do whatever you like. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has gotta be a numbskull. I like it! So, where are we headed? Rufus is going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients? Dunno, that numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. Okay, so now we have the Tiny Bronco. Perfect. Much easier. Still going around, we have Midgar, we, we, we reached Midgar, we have that calm. Chocobo Farms. Another customer, you should put an out of way place, but but if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. You don't have it. Okay, so the keystone is what we need to get into the Temple of the Ancients because the Temple of the Ancients is locked up, sealed. So we have to get the keystone. I'll show you what I mean when we go to the Temple of the Ancients, but I believe we could get it from Dio in the Gold Saucer. Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that? 
The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. You're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? Ha ha ha. Don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. Where is the keystone? I sold it already. Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, I don't really want to sell it, but that guy had a way about him that made you feel like it may, be a, not, may not be a good idea not to sell it to him. Who did you sell it to? The manager of the gold saucer, I think his name was Dio, said he was going to put it in a museum. Then he took off out of he took out of here. Where's the temple? Come on, it's only a legend, but if it were true, that sure would be something, huh? Now that you mention it, I've heard of something called ultimate destruction magic. It's supposed to be hidden somewhere in the Temple of the Ancients. Ultimate destruction magic? Come on, I said don't take it seriously. Let's change this. All the weapons you see here I made myself, but lately I haven't been able to get materials. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's the... So this is the Temple of Ancients. And that's where the keystone needs to go. I'm gonna change the PHS on this thing. Uh, let's change it to get bare for a little bit. Actually, let's give some time to Sid. Okay, that should work for a little bit. Well, actually... Yuffie... You need to raise Yuffie and Casey a bit. <clears throat> okay. Go to Fort Condor. Yes, yes, I've also told the store owner about you, so they should tell, sell you various items, and feel free to eat their bed. How goes it? The Shinner Troops have attacked two times since you were here, so you're getting a little short on funds. We have 9,000 guild right now. They're just around the corner. Okay, ready. The Barbarians are mixed. There are more than 20 set up for a balanced attack, or... Okay. Okay.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Come on. Last one. There we go. Phew, that was good, but Shinra's troops will be back. Be sure and scout the area. Well, we don't know when they'll attack again. So I have one ally left, so here's 200 gil. Oh yeah, I found this just now on the battle boat. Maybe it'll come in handy for you guys. Okay, that was a lot of gil gone, but it's okay. I want to make sure I didn't leave my tiny Bronco. Okay, it's over there. Okay. Okie dokie. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, now we are heading to the gold saucer. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use 3,000 guild. Thank you very much. Here at the. Okay, yep. I already read that, so. We have to be careful of these steps. What? A lot of things. Come on, let me find Dio. There it is. It's the keystone. Hey, 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 long time no see, boy. Hmm, you like that, huh? Can you let me borrow this? <laughs> Sorry, but it's not for rent. Hmm. Since you've been good to me in the past, I can let you have it on one condition. One condition? <laughs> Entertain me. What do I gotta do? Oh boy. <laughs> Nothing all that difficult. 
This is the battle arena. Show me your fighting skills. Just you, boy. I'm expecting a good fight. Okay. Weapon is broken. That's the best you could do? Well, promise is a promise. Go ahead and take it. Receive key item. We shall meet again. Got the keystone. That was easy. So this is... Ghost Hotel. Welcome. Thank you for coming to Ghost Hotel. Ugh, for reservations, please step up to the counter. It's our most popular employee, Mr. Hangman. Welcome. No thanks. What's in here? We have no GP. Well... Hold on. Let's see if I can... Enter the Wonder Station and see if I can... One, two, two, three, okay, four, just gotta get one more. Five GP, perfect. And now we can save. Let's save. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.